Hey guys, it's Jeff. Super exciting day because Apple released the first developer beta build of iOS 13.4. Now there's a lot of things to talk about with this update. Uh, there's some new features, there's some changes, and there's just a whole lot to talk about because this is one of the more anticipated versions of iOS 13 that we're gonna be talking about this year because it is one of the last versions of iOS 13 that we'll be seeing ever because we're almost at the end of the iOS 13 life cycle. So let's go ahead, get this beta version installed onto our device and go ahead and take a look at what's new. Okay guys, so this is the update page for iOS 13.4 developer beta one. As you can see, the update size was just around 4.04 gigabytes and that is for my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, so if we go into settings, then on to general and about, that'll show us a little bit more information about this update. Obviously software version has changed now to iOS 13.4. And then we have a build number after that, that is 17E5223H. That H at the end does indicate that this is a less stable build um, amongst betas. So do be aware, I would actually caution you guys not to go ahead and update specifically just for that reason, because this is a less stable update. Just want to let you guys know so you're not updating and you have a bunch of problems and you don't know why. The letters at the end of these build numbers do actually mean something. A being the uh, kind of most stable and then uh, going down from there is less stable. So if we go down uh, further in this menu, you'll actually see that we have a new modem firmware 1.05.23, which is actually quite a significant update over what we saw in iOS 13.3.1, which was like 1.04.04, something like that. 0.06. Um, so this is quite a significant update. Hopefully that solves any LTE issues that you guys may be having out there. I know there was just a few LTE issues in iOS 13.3.1, but we'll have to wait uh, to get feedback and confirmation on that. And if this modem firmware does in fact fix uh, some LTE issues that users were experiencing out there. Now, the first thing that I notice immediately upon uh, opening up iOS 13.4 is if you go ahead and open up your AirPods, the connectivity or the specifically the AirPods Pro, the connectivity is a lot faster than what we were seeing in previous updates. So I'll just show you once again, uh, we'll go ahead and let the AirPods uh, turn off there, the case, and then we'll open it. And you can see the connectivity is just a lot faster than what we've been experiencing in the past. If you guys own AirPods um, or AirPods Pro, uh, you might have experienced in the past couple of updates that connectivity was not always the best. That seems to be better now in, uh, in the first beta of iOS 13.4. Now, a major change that has come to the App Store, uh, specifically for the iPhone and then moving on into um, like Mac apps as well. Now, obviously with Catalyst, you can go ahead and have a Catalyst app kind of replicate an iOS app. Um, so I can actually run some apps that I find here on the iPhone App Store um, on my Mac as well. But what's really cool is if I purchase anything on my phone here, I can actually use that on my Catalyst app on the Mac. So it seems that Apple has allowed universal purchases to be made between the app store on the iPhone. And then if you go to a Mac Catalyst app that kind of replicates the iOS app on the Mac, you can go ahead and use your purchases there as well. It will have kind of like the same build identifier. So that is a really cool feature that has come to iOS and of course, Mac OS as well. Now, another really cool feature is iCloud folder sharing. So iCloud folder sharing was previously uh, kind of in the iOS 13 updates here, but it was taken out and now it is finally back. So with this update, you can go ahead and add people to folders and you can kind of share folders with other people in your contacts or anything like that. And as you can see at the bottom, you have several different ways to go ahead and send um, the folder to someone. So it's pretty accessible, um, you know, as far as like email messages and everything like that goes. So um, iCloud folder sharing is back. That is definitely a feature people wanted to see and you should definitely go check it out. It's actually a really useful feature within the files app. Okay, so another really cool addition is Memoji stickers. So obviously we've had Memoji stickers, but we've added um, just a few bit more here in iOS 13.4. Take a look at the new ones and let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below. But unfortunately we don't have new emojis, but we do have Memoji stickers, which is always a fun way to uh, kind of communicate through messages, um, send it to your friends, family, or whoever you're messaging. So uh, again, let me know what your favorite is in the comment section down below. We have a few more here in the Memoji 
emoji sticker menu. Now, one other thing before we move on into the next segment of today's video, if you want to update your Apple Watch um, to like Apple Watch uh, version 6.2 beta, um, so if you have uh, an Apple Watch and you're trying to update, uh, do be aware um, that you do have to update your phone first. So you have to update your phone or whatever device is controlling your Apple Watch to the latest beta to get that update. I've never actually seen this message before, but it seems like Apple is requiring you to update your phone before you update your watch. So just be aware of that. You will get this prompt if you go ahead and try to update your watch before you update your phone to the latest beta. Okay guys, so those were some of the new features that we featured in our live demo, but unfortunately I did miss one in the mail app. The uh, kind of bottom row of icons there has in fact changed the kind of toolbar uh, to reply and everything like that, manage your mail. That has in fact changed. I'll have a screenshot of that change on screen, but let's go ahead and talk about speed and performance when it comes to iOS 13.4, because obviously that's a pretty major topic when it comes to iOS updates. So I kind of already previewed uh, connectivity with uh, Bluetooth headphones like the AirPods Pro, just a lot faster in iOS 13.4 than previous versions, um, but it seems like the overall performance is actually really, really good with iOS 13.4. Visually, I can't really see any difference uh, whatsoever, but when we go into our benchmarks, we actually saw a pretty significant improvement uh, that yielded some really good results for iOS 13.4. So guys, if you go ahead and update, I won't say that you'll see a visual improvement, but it looks like the efficiency of iOS 13 has improved here in iOS 13.4 beta one, and that might lead to better battery life and uh, just overall better performance more consistently. So that's what we were looking for, um, but let's go ahead and move on to our next topic, that is battery life. In our battery life test, we really didn't see any change, uh, but we this is of course the first day, so we might be seeing those changes um, in just a little bit as we test into a 24 hour period. But so far we really haven't seen a decline, so that's a really good thing. So if you go ahead and update, uh, you might not really be experiencing any poor battery life issues. Um, it's just you might not see any um, you know, changes going in the upwards direction. Now let's talk about if you guys should be updating because that is a very important question. And as I kind of indicated earlier on in my demo uh, kind of uh, content was basically this is a less stable build of an, a beta version than normal. It doesn't have an A at the end. This is an H that indicates that this is a uh, kind of unstable build of a beta. Obviously it's gone through several iterations before getting here, but it is still unstable. And you guys should probably hold off as this is still the first developer beta and maybe hold off until the second or third developer beta when everything is more stable and more refined uh, for a, a good overall user experience. So if you have that question in the comment section down below, I'll repeat the same thing, but you guys should maybe hold off until the second or third developer beta or if they have a public beta for you guys all to sign up for. Now, one other topic is what are we expecting with iOS 13.4? I kind of already alluded to, this is probably the last um, iOS 13 version, major version that we'll be seeing this year for iOS 13 as we move on into the iOS 14 era. And we should be seeing the FaceTime eye correction feature. That was one feature that we are missing from iOS 13. We saw it in the original iOS 13 betas it has not come back, it has not returned. So that is very disappointing that we don't see that in this first developer beta build. And of course the spam call detection that Apple promised would be coming in iOS 13. We haven't found any indication of that coming in iOS 13.4 yet. We might be seeing those in subsequent versions of um, the betas here with iOS 13.4 uh, beta two or beta three. Fingers definitely crossed for that, but hopefully we do see those in this update because it would be pretty disappointing not to see those features in the iOS 13.4 betas. So guys, that was the iOS 13.4 developer beta one build. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to get back to those as soon as possible. Uh, let me know your favorite new feature. Um, I really like those new Memoji uh, stickers that were added to the Messages app. Um, those are really cool in my opinion. Opinion. And also the iCloud sharing folder, um, you know, being able to share those with people, um, that ability was actually very crucial to when I was using it before and now it's back 
and I really, really like that it's back. I think that will be very helpful for my personal workflow. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite new feature is. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like on the video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button if you guys want to see more future content on iOS 13.4 betas and moving on into iOS 14 betas as well. So guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hopefully I see you in some future content, but until then, I hope you all enjoy the first developer beta of iOS 13.4. Peace out guys.